Assalamu alaikum alaykum viewers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing good and safe at your homes. Today I want to talk about coronavirus and dentistry. So we all know that COVID-19 is having huge impacts on our everyday lives, including the scheduled dental and other appointments as well. But we need to work together to curb the spread of the virus. So what should be done exactly? There is a statement issued on April 1 by the American Dental Association, ADA, which called the dentists nationwide to postpone those appointments which are not urgent. Why do we need to postpone those appointments? Because patients can be a source of spreading the virus. You don't know who's infected, who's not. So it's better to postpone those appointments which are not necessary at the time being. So how do you know whether I need to go to the hospital or not? That I'm going to tell you in this video. So there's a guide which can help you know that whether you should go to the hospital for your dental treatment or you should postpone it for the time being. First of all, I'm going to talk about the dental care that can be rescheduled for another time. So that includes a regular visit for the examination of your teeth, for the cleaning of your teeth or even taking x-rays. But if you encounter a bleeding that is not stopping at all, then you need to go to the hospital immediately so that the healthcare worker or the dentist can provide means to stop the bleeding. Similarly, a regular visit for braces can be postponed, but if you encounter a painful swelling which is inside or around your mouth, that should be taken seriously and you should go to the hospital in order to get the proper treatment for it. Now, there are some teeth which are not very painful, but they require remo removal. They might be moving, they might be infected, but they are not painful for the time being. So, you can wait. But there are teeth which are very painful and your everyday life is affected because of those teeth. So, you need to go to the emergency to get these teeth. Uh, so, for normal up. basis adjustments, we can wait, but we cannot wait if there has to be a biopsy taken of abnormal tissue. So, we need to prioritize what has to be treated and what not right now. This is important because we need to preserve the personal protective equipment as well. We all know that there is already a shortage of masks, protective gowns and face shields as well. And dentists are using them every day for every patient separately so we need to preserve that as well for the healthcare workers so that they can treat the patients effectively and help themselves from getting infected that is why dentists have to play their important role in defeating coronavirus by prioritizing the procedures that they need to do at this time so now you need to go to the dental clinic if there is bleeding if there is swelling if there is any adjustment after you are getting radiation for cancer, if there is any biopsy that has to be done, if there is any tooth that, that has been knocked out, for example, if a child has been playing and his tooth has been knocked out and so he needs immediate uh, treatment for that, he needs splinting for that in order to pre preserve the permanent tooth, otherwise the tooth will be wasted. So we need to be very careful for what we need to go to the hospital and when we do not need to go to the hospital. The hospital load has to be decreased in order to treat the patients who are actually I understand emergency. that many people have been given appointments for crowns and bridges and root canal treatments but right now we do not want people to catch the coronavirus so better to stay at home and better to get them treated as soon as the pandemic is over and as soon as the cases go down for any medical facial trauma go to the hospital as soon as possible from maxillofacial trauma, I mean if your zygoma gets fractured or your tongue gets lacerated, you need to rush to the hospital in order to get them treated. Because if bleeding occurs and bleeding is non-stop, then many other consequences can take place due to this non-stop bleeding. That is why it's important to treat the emergencies ASAP. Do not be afraid of coronavirus in case of emergencies. Just take all the protective uh, measures so that you are safe from the virus you take your mask mask with you take your sanitizer with you take anything that's required but be sure that 
do not go to hospital if you do not have an emergency case just Uh, give a call to your dentist give a call to your health worker and tell them that this is my problem so sh- do i need to come to the hospital can you please give me medicine over the phone if possible without uh, seeing my condition so if they are able to do that then you should also stay at home and uh, say this many of the consultations are being done over the phone for all the health workers even the pediatricians are also uh, telling people over the phone their conditions they are also uh, telling people what to do over whatsapp messages as well so uh, take use of these online uh, mediums so you can always always give a call to your health worker or always send a message to them before rushing to the hospital this is for your own safety and for your own benefit as well and f- for the benefit of all the people who are there for some particular emergency or reasons all elective procedures have been cancelled by the american dental association since once april and they are just waiting for the pandemic to um, die down so that they can get the health workers as well to educate the people about uh, the elective procedures that can be postponed for a while and the emergencies that have to be treated immediately because when the lockdown was uh, proposed the idea was initiated many people who were at home thought of getting fillings done or thought of getting the scaling done which is not a good idea because the purpose or the idea of lockdown is to stay at home in order to curb the spread of the virus so if we are going out to get our scalings done to get our fillings done which are not emergency needs or which we have been postponing for a long time so why are we going now to get them done just to increase the rate of the spread of the virus which is not a good thing another thing for which you should go to the dentist's office is to get the replacement of the dressing done after your surgery has taken place for example if you have to get any sponges in your oral cavity or any kind of dressing that has to be replaced you should go to the doctor you should not delay it or you should not postpone it you should not think that it's it is okay to stay at home at that point because bleeding or any post op uh, infection might take place which has to be stopped because uh, life and health are very important so we should prioritize our life and health and we should think very wisely what to do one case cases. scenario that i want to discuss here is that if you are a confirmed or a suspected case of corona virus and you need the dental emergency treatment then what should be done so in that case the dentist has to have all the protective equipment at hand so that he can provide an efficient dental uh, treatment with precautions uh, the patient uh, um, has to uh, comply with all the orders and all the instructions of the doctor the doctor needs to wear a proper face shield a mask that is ideally a respirator and a protective gown as well so in that case the treatment can be given the uh, the case should be reported as well and the treatment of the uh, corona virus uh, symptoms has to be initiated as soon as possible but the dental emergency treatment has to be provided to the patient such patients include for example if a patient is getting radiation therapy and the patient needs removal of teeth or adjustment of a denture that he is wearing so in that case you need to uh, visit the office you need to have all the precautions done and then the treatment has to be given and the symptomatic treatment of corona uh, virus symptom has to be Lastly, given as well. i just want to remind you guys to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post a new video thank you all for listening